Alright, what's going on guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video giving my thoughts, viewer requested, on the Walking Dead comic book series and whether or not I think Magna is going to free Negan. All right, good stuff. So this one does contain spoilers for anyone who's not read up to current date for the Walking Dead comic book series. It's applicable to the comic book series. Eventually, the TV series will probably get here too. It'll just shake things up and do it a little differently. So that said, I'm going to continue on. Yes, Game of Thrones was incredible this weekend. If you guys miss it or you don't watch the show, you should definitely look into it. Uh, but doesn't mean I'm not going to be making at least a few Walking Dead videos for the week, doing the best I can to keep them coming. Uh, so this one, yes, viewer requested. People wanted to hear what I thought about this as uh, as soon as the Walking Dead issue 128 came out. Uh, people started talking about this, which is uh, what's going to happen with Negan. He's you know he's during the time skip he's been imprisoned by Rick. He's been uh, held basically uh, in a tiny little cell, depressed. He's crying. His best friend at the t uh, pretty much that he has in the world, Carl. Uh, who's become him because he's basically the only one it seems like that's visiting Negan to talk to him um, because Carl can kind of relate to him because Carl's really cold based on how he's evolved in the zombie apocalypse. Um, even Carl, his best friend, wants to kill him. you know. And even after all their talks, Negan asks... And Carl says, yeah, you know I do, Negan. You know I still want to kill you after, you know, if it wasn't for Rick, I would have already. Um, you know, shot him in the head or, or something. Who knows, right? Uh, but... Basically, you know, this is kind of something I had predicted during All Out War. If you guys were subscribed to the channel, if you watched the, some of the prediction videos I did, you'd know I predicted this, which is that I predicted Negan would survive All Out War. Um, and basically what I said was, was I think that Negan is too damn interesting. He's too damn much fun. And I think that, you know, we've had a lot of that kind of killing off, killing off, killing off. It's time to let a villain like Negan become sort of, um, you know, a mainstay for The Walking Dead. You know, have him be sort of Rick's, um, you know, uh, arch nemesis or, or have him be the Joker to Rick as Batman, let's say. Have him be that arch enemy, that, that evil villainous opposite to himself that has a grudge and is out there and is willing to do anything to survive and willing to do anything to obtain power and do the opposite of what Rick is doing which is to try to build civilization back up and rebuild whereas Negan wants to control and profit off of other civilizations. He wants to dominate and take from them rather than contribute to them. So um, this is a really interesting one, you know. Um, I've, I kind, I, I wouldn't say I saw this coming um, because we don't know for sure if this is going to happen yet, anyway. But I'm kind of giving my thoughts on this whole prediction that people have been talking about. Not just one person, but a few of you have brought this up in comments and in private messages. And basically, my thoughts are this, and they're the same as they were during All at War. I think Negan is not the, the Walking Dead is not finished with Negan. He's he's too much fun. He's too interesting. He's too conniving. He's too sneaky. He's too good of a survivor. He's too much of a great leader, manipulative, and very uh, interesting. As a, from a, from a perspective of a reader and a viewer, he is a very interesting character. It's sort of like David Morrissey's Governor in the, on the television series, except he's funny also. <laughs> So, um, you know, he, he's really got a lot of angles that make him a likable villain, and he definitely stirs the pot up in terms of things that are happening. So I think it makes sense for the long term of The Walking Dead to have a character out there like Negan. He doesn't always have to be in the story, but if Magna is to free him and he is to sort of take control of Magna's group, because we know that Magna is kind of like a leader, but she even says it herself, she's not like the official leader of the group. This isn't Magna's group, you know. She's a part of this group and she's taken the leadership role because everyone else is afraid to do so and it kind of has just, it's kind of, you know, evolved that way naturally. So what most of us are thinking is going to happen and what this prediction is basically is that while Rick's group is eating because uh, they all eat together a dinner or whatever they're doing, some kind of meeting or something, sometime soon in the Walking Dead comic book series, Magna and her group, they're going to be sneaking around, checking the place out, and they're going to stumble upon Negan, 
when they do, we're assuming Negan's going to basically um, convince them that he's a good person, that Rick and the group is really messed up, that they're crazy, that they're go that he's going to do something to them, make them pay up to him or dominate them or, or do something. Negan's going to manipulate her and her group into freeing him and running away from the Alexandra safe zone. This is, this is what most people think is or what a lot of us think is going to happen. Um, this is a type of prediction that it fits so well and we're seeing everything kind of form together to that so clearly you know uh, with Negan mistrusting Rick's group and something being too good to be true it usually is um, you know I, I really think that this is where Kirkman's going it just the shoe fits wear it if he doesn't go that route I'd be shocked you know if in 129 and 130 he does something different I'd be flabbergasted. I wouldn't know what to say because this one sounds like exactly where he's going. So I think you guys, whoever thought this or whoever came up with this or whoever said it, hit the nail right on the head. I do think this makes perfect sense. And uh, it does a lot of those things I was talking about. Gets that super interesting character back out there in the fold, freedom again, and give him an opportunity to take over groups to do some, really do some messed up things. And for us as readers, to watch that and be like, wow, this is amazing. So in terms of this prediction, I think it's going to happen. I agree with it. I think it makes a lot of sense. And I think we're going to see Magna be turned into a new um, bad guy, you know, probably under Negan sooner or later, because I don't think she is as strong of a leader as Negan. And I think he's going to take control of that group very quickly. So those are my thoughts on that for the Walking Dead comic book series, eventually the TV series as well, too, probably. And, um, let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think that they're going to let Negan go? Do you think he's going to escape and get away? Or do you think, no, that's not where Kirkman's going and we're, we're totally off base? Let us know what you think uh, right in the comments below. And if you guys like the video, please sum it up. Like the video below if you want to help support the channel. Add it to favorites. Share it. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. See you for the next one. This is Trav, as always. And I'm saying peace.